Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a little get ready with me as well as go thrift shopping. I'm going to take you guys with me thrift shopping. I haven't been in like two years, probably around this time, two years ago. Uh, and I found some really good staples that I still wear to this day and like love. They're just such good pieces. So I've just kind of been feeling like uninspired. My little penny girl. Come here, penny. Come here. Come here. A little cack on the floor. Eh? I've just been feeling uninspired in the clothing department lately and sometimes you just go there and it's like you find something and you're like this is what I wanted this is what I was looking for and just kind of bring some life back into your wardrobe so I'm just gonna put on some makeup and do that first and then we will go to the thrift store and see what we can find my face I'm just gonna use my image uh, tinted daily moisturizer which has an SPF of 30 in it we're probably getting having the last nice days of fall the last nice days of November I feel like after this it's gonna snow so I'm just trying to soak it all in we were doing a lot of outside yard work yesterday just getting things winterized while well, I wasn't my husband did most of it but I helped out here and there so yeah and then it's gonna be I thought I was going to be on the ball this year I thought that I was gonna Christmas shop early but I'm not I have a feeling I'm just going to just go hard <laughs> like in the next few weeks like sometimes all it takes is buying like that first present for someone and then like you get in the flow and you're good and you're just finding things you have ideas for what you want to get people but I'm just stuck right now still trying to get into the routine of school and sports and it's just so busy between all of that that I'm just not thinking of what was that I'm just not thinking of Christmas yet and maybe because it's still pretty sunny out and there's no snow for my concealer I'm gonna go in with the elf hydrating camo concealer in the shade light beige I have been using this all the time as opposed to my Maybelline fit me which is my favorite and I love I just find this is a little bit got a little bit fuller coverage and I got this in a bit of a darker shade so I think that's why I'm liking it all right I'm gonna go in with Bahama Mama as my contour today I'm not gonna do a cream contour I'm just gonna keep it a little bit lighter so I'm using more of a rectangular brush just to carve out the cheekbones and then I'll blend that out with a powder brush after and go over it with some bronzer to kind of blend it all through that's what I kind of like to do I mean you do that anyways with a cream contour but sometimes powder contours are not as forgiving I guess as the cream contour so just gonna blend another bronzer through with this and I do sort of align at the bottom of my cheekbone but I like to kind of create like a triangular shape so go up a little bit higher near your temple just to kind of blend it through for my bronzer I'm gonna go in with the covergirl true blend uh, so flushed bronzer it's sunset glitz and this is a very pigmented bronzer all of the covergirl so flushed uh, bronzer and blushes are very very pigmented and this kind of has a little bit of a sheen to it and it's more of a neutral it's not too warm so it's really flattering 
as a bronzer. But yeah, it's got like a little bit of a sheen to it. So that's nice to go over more of a matte bronzer and blend them through. For blush, I'm going to stick with the CoverGirl So Flushed uh, line. And I'm going to go with the shade Love Me, which is like a nice pinky coral color. Kind of similar to Hot Mama, but more of a pink shade and not as iridescent. So I'm just going to start in the middle and then work my way back and work my way on top of the cheekbones, on top of the apples of my cheeks. So I just set my makeup with the Catrice Shake Fix Glow Spray. So this is a hydrating makeup um, setting spray. And now I'm just going to use a little bit of the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. I put a little bit of the creamy NARS concealer on my eyelids and I'm just going to, I never do this, but I just wanna try it. I just wanna see if like, putting a little bit of setting powder on top of your eyes before you put on your eyeshadow, like makes it blend better. And this is like the nicest powder that I have. So if anything's gonna blend nicely over top, it would be this one. I'm gonna use my Madison Beer Channel Surfing Palette from Morphe, her collaboration with Morphe. So I'm going to go in with this taupe shade first and place that on my brow bone. Just going to do super simple eye look today. Now I'm going to go in with this more of an orange shade, a neutral orange shade, and I'm going to place that a little bit lower. Just above my crease. Right, I'm going to go underneath the eye with that orange shade again. It's not too orange. It like shows up a lot more neutral on the eye. So it's nothing too dramatic. All right, we're going to pack down this light shade on the eyelid to make our eyelid pop. Clean everything up a bit. Now I'm going to take this dark mauvey brown color. It's looking more of a neutral brown on camera, but in the pan, it's definitely got more of a mauve tone to it. You can see the one that's a little bit more of a greenish undertone. So this has a little bit more mauve to it. And I'm just going to take that along the lash line. Just follow it out to the outer corner. All right, so I ever so lightly lined my lips. I tight lined and put mascara on. I think the eyeshadow look came out really beautiful. Um, I think putting a little bit of setting powder on before, like with I, when I put the concealer on with a little bit of setting powder over, it gave it like a smoother canvas for my eyes. 
my eyes are aging so the skin is getting a little bit loose it's like thinner and gets dragged around so I think adding that little bit of setting powder just gave it like a nice softer canvas to work on like I feel like I can tell a difference that it blended out nicer but love the way the eye look came out anyway so I'm going to put a little bit of highlighter on I'm using the wet n wild hello halo in the um, shade I met someone so I think I'm just going to mix these two a little bit this is a blush and a highlighter but I'm just going to mix them and pop a little bit up on the tops of my cheekbone and then I'll just dab it through so it blends a bit so I'm gonna go get my son for lunch give him lunch bring him back to school and then we will go to the thrift store and see what we can find all right we're gonna go in to value village and look around like I said I haven't been thrift shopping in two years so I'm excited to kind of hunt for that those little hidden items that are always at the thrift stores so let's go So they didn't have change rooms anymore so I couldn't try everything on that I picked out I wanted to try it on first so I just had to kind of skim through it and decide what I wanted to keep and what I didn't and what I thought was worth it so I'll show you guys at home what I found and what I kept All right this is what I picked up at Value Village so I found this H&M sweater for four dollars i have something super similar in gray and i wear it constantly so it fits really cute and is super comfy and i think will look awesome with jeans or leggings i found this sweater for four dollars as well from forever 21 it has the same kind of material as the one from h m it's a little bit longer so i think that'll be cute and cozy for winter, I found this cropped sweater from the garage for $8. Look at my arm from holding everything. Um, these are always really expensive. Like, I think they're overpriced. They're sweat stuff. So it's cropped, a little too cropped, but I'll wear a tank underneath, and it's just super cozy. And then I found this really pretty top from Sheen. It's like in this nice deep turquoise color and it looks really cute on I think it might be something nice to wear for the holidays and that was five dollars and it looks brand new and then I found this as I was leaving this little camera case from Kate Spade it doesn't fit for four dollars and fifty cents it doesn't fit my phone so I might give it to my one of my little cousins hopefully their phones are smaller but it's so cute it's a little beat up but for five bucks like it's good leather and it would have been really cute all right so this is the first top I definitely I uh, will be wearing this constantly I can see myself wearing it all the time and how cute is this I wish my phone fit all right, this is the second top from Forever 21. I like it, I like the color, I like the collar, and the sleeves are a little bit longer, but it is a little bit more fitted in the arms, so it's not as cozy and comfy as the other one, but I think I will get good use out of it for winter time, for something to layer and just keep warm. All right, this is the cropped sweater from the garage. Again, super comfy and casual. I definitely won't be wearing it. I could probably actually wear it um, with my Lululemon leggings and the ones from Amazon, they'll go up 
above my belly button, but I won't be wearing it really cropped. But I think it looks cute just showing a little bit of a white tank underneath. It's so cozy. I love the tones in it. And yeah, like I said before, the garage, their sweats are always like pretty overpriced. So getting it for $8 is awesome. I feel like it was in their summer collection this year. So it's pretty new. All right, this is the last top. I think it's super cute. I love the detailing on the shoulders. I think it's super flattering. It just makes it little, look a little bit more dressy. I paid $5. The person who bought it probably paid $5 for it from Shen or Shine or whatever, however you call it. Um, but I think it's super pretty. I love the jewel tone. It looks really cute with like some wide leg pants. These are a little bit big on me, so it's kind of making me look a little bit boxier. This does have extra fabric on it. Like it's not form fitting, but if you tuck it in, I think it will work just fine. So I really love this. I guarantee I'll wear it during the holidays. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the get ready with me and shopping at the thrift store and the cute items that I found. Hopefully it gave you guys some inspo to go out and hunt for yourselves or just recreate the outfit looks. Um, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in my next video.